30 East Drive, Pontefract, probably one of the most haunted homes in all of Europe, if not the entire world. I've been fortunate enough to have exclusive time within this building to study the poltergeist phenomenon. No, there's something behind me. There it was. There it was. Andrew's on this bed. It just... And I want to share with you the evidence that I've gathered that might finally prove that the Pontefract poltergeist is absolutely real. These are my documented findings that might finally show that 30 East Drive is truly a haunted home. Upon arrival at 30 yeah, East Drive, you can just tell in the air that there is something not quite right. The energy inside is so thick that it can almost knock you onto your feet. Okay, strong feeling here immediately. Really strong See feeling. See the figure, all in white, about Simon's height, walk. And then the radiation. Walk behind He's Simon, swinging. come into this area. How come bad on, are man. they swinging? Right oh the my god. Swinging. And then the keys that just started swinging on their own. This thing's going mental, this gal's We in the paranormal best currently believe that spirits are made up of something called electromagnetic frequency, or EMF. Now, when you walk into a building and you feel a really strong presence, like cold chills, uh, hair sticking up on the back of your heads, or just an overall feeling of intoxication or anxiety, what that is, or could be, is you picking up on the spirit energy around you. It's a very fuzzy sort of feeling. When we go into buildings like these where there's a strong entity, you can seriously pick up on it. Oh, the feeling is intense. Just setting up that domino there. Can you make a noise for me if you're in here? I come as a friend. Can you let me know that you're aware of my presence? That's the mirror that I caught the entity in. That oh. one. Okay. This is the photo Cat took in this exact mirror. Leave a comment down below to let me know what you think this manifestation looks like to you. Decoration and most of the bits and bats are original. Mm -hmm. The some of the furniture is and it's all ori original to the period, obviously when the Pritchards lived here. Um, but some of it has been brought in after. This is Clock. Yeah, obviously, but this doesn't work and it does that. Oh, that's creepy, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Um, an identical looking clock was thrown down the steps of Jean by the supposed spirit of Fred. I'd love to see Smashed that. Smashed in pieces at the bottom of the steps. So, it's obviously that kind of thing. When you walk into the house, it's very electric. Um, you can feel different energy um, in the different rooms. Some of the rooms aren't as energetic as other rooms. The upstairs bedroom, um, the boys' room, that feels extremely active. Um, the other rooms in the house, they all have their own different feels, their own different... They make you feel differently. It's interesting, but before I leave, I'll see what I can do. I know, I know most ghost, ghost hunters are going to hate me if I attempt to help a spirit cross here, but this is the life we're talking about, so I can't It's been wait. asked a number of times, um, because we, with the guests, we often do um, the human pendulum towards the end of the night, and Fagan regularly comes through. Um, he likes to communicate through the guests, because I think he likes pushing them about. Um, and we've asked many, many times, um, and one of my friends who's a medium has also asked if he wants help passing over, and he said no, every time, no. What was that? Oh, come on, come on, oh. downstairs, bring the camera. So loud. There was just a very loud bang down here. That came from the kitchen, I think. Oh. Oh. No idea, it actually sounded like a, a, 
bang on wood no. or glass. It sounds like something oh, fell oh, over. Oh, I've got a weird feeling in there. Definitely sounded like it. 30 East Drive is currently believed to be haunted by a poltergeist known as the Black Monk, also known as Fred, as the legends say. Now, the Black Monk, back in the day, Pontefract has a whole lot of history, was believed to have raped children, in which when he was caught, they pushed him down a well where he had died. Now, the well is believed to be beneath the home. In our experience, though, we have come to find that its name is not Fred. The Black Monk actually prefers to go by the name Fagin. Spirits, would you come and please speak with me? Um, Fred if that is what you like to be called. Uh, I join you to come in and talk to me. If you're here, could you clearly come through and say your name, Fred, for me? <laughs> Tell me what you, if you guys hear anything, go ahead and say it. Yep. I think, I'm Fred. Yeah, I heard that. I am good, I'm good. Thanks for asking. Fred, if you're here, could you, uh, can you tell me your real name? If, if this isn't, if Fred's not your actual name, can you tell me what your real name is? What, what am I looking for? Fagin? Is your name Fagin? If so, could you say your name for me, please? Recording now. Okay. I never touched it. All right. So the camera just shut itself off on us. Fred or Fagin, please don't do that again. Uh, we would actually like to look back and see what you were trying to say to us. Um, As you can see in these spirit box clips, Fagin seems to have taken a liking to Olivia of the Really Haunted Team, the team that has allowed us to investigate 30 East Drive. Now, you can clearly hear that he responds to the name Fagan. Fagan, are you here with us now? If so, can you please say, I am here? I thought I said Fagan. Um, is Fagin supposed to be the Black Monk as well? Yeah. Alright, ask him if he would say the name Black Monk if he's the Black Monk. Fagin, can you say Black Monk if you are the Black Monk? Yeah. yeah. Thank, Thank you, you. Could you say it just a little more clear, though, for us? I'm sorry to ask, but I'd uh, really appreciate it. Alright, I heard you say bump. Vegan, are you my friend? Clear, please. Saying a lot. Fagan, if you're here in the living room with us at this moment, could you very clearly let us know by saying the word living room? I heard living room, I'm in here. Yeah. I heard sniffles as well. Did you? Fagan, are you following me? Fagan, if you're following Olivia, could you just clearly say the words I follow to let us know? something for us please anything at all really just don't hurt one of us please 
Now, as you just saw, Fagin has self-identified himself as the Black Monk. This is the reoccurring entity that comes through at 30 East Drive. Because of this, we believe that his name is not Fred, like the majority believe, but actually Fagin. And this is why we call out to him as Fagin, because we get more response to that name with him. A method we use for direct communication, real-time communication, is called EVP, or Electronic Voice Phenomenon. Now, this is when you can set down a recording device, have absolutely no noise, no uh, background noise, nothing and ask questions and get real-time responses from what we believe to be spirit. And we look for intelligence or validation, such as in this clip here you're about to see. Uh, well, we can try after if you want, Kat. Yeah, we'll do one with Andrew, we'll do one with you. So on three, two. Hello, Fagan. You've given us a lot of evidence that you are around and you are intelligent and wanting to communicate. Do you want any of us to get out of the house though? We get a lot of mixed messages, a lot of friendliness and a lot of anger. Are you angry or are you happy? Fagan, are you the Black Monk? My friend, could you be completely honest and tell me, are you the Black Monk? Okay, that's one minute, exactly. So we'll play this back. Right, I'll start this from the beginning, sorry, all right? Do you want any of us to get out of the house, though? Oh, shit. That says cleansing. Do you want any of us to get out of the house, It's about 20 seconds or something, I think. Do you want any of us to get out of the house, though? Yes, I want you to go. You know what I thought I heard. Do you want any of us to get out of the house, though? Yes, I want them to go. You get a lot of mixed messages, a lot of friendliness, and a lot of anger. Are you angry or are you happy? I'm ready. Oh. Oh. Play that again. Alright, listen to this, you guys. Absolutely crystal clear. One more time, listen to this. You guys who are watching right now, okay? I'm gonna tell you something, all right? This thing, this thing, the Panasonic DR60, this cost me a small fortune, all right? I'm not gonna say how much, but it cost me a small fortune. And we've had some incredible stuff with this, but I think the EVP that we've just caught just now saying angry here in East Drive with myself and Andrew and Really Haunted, uh, Proven Demons and Paranormal X, that was just incredible. That is solid evidence without a doubt, without a shadow of a doubt. And it's not just any old EVP, it's an intelligent response. Mm -hmm. it's, it's answering your question, are you angry? And it says it, angry. You can, can debunk it even further because the, the, that was nowhere near anybody. It was in the middle of- It was right there. It was, it no, was hang on, hang on, hang on. It was- Nobody was touching. It was right there. It was moving. It was there. You saw that live, it was right there. Let's just play it again. Um, Marker. But that is your solid proof that this stuff is very real, and they they are aware, they're well aware of it, they can hear our voices. Okay, listen you guys, listen, listen, listen. Right there. Hmm. Um, my personal opinion on Fagan, he's not as active 
obviously as um, when the Pritchards originally lived in the house. Um, I believe from what I've been told that he was wrongly accused um, of a lot of crimes <clears throat> that his brother committed. Um, I feel that maybe he's trapped there because of the anger that he experienced from being persecuted for something he didn't do. Uh, do. I feel that he is angry. He's told us he's angry. We've heard it clear as day that he's angry. Um, but it's very strange because a lot of investigators that go to East Drive, they go, they expect um, things to happen, you know, serious things like stuff getting chucked at them, being attacked. But I don't feel that that's how you communicate with him because Andrew and I went and we was really, really sweet. Um, we was respectful. Um, and the energy in the house changed from being one of um, conflict and uh, wanting us out to one where we felt extremely peaceful and comfortable there, um, which isn't something that I've heard many people say who have investigated East Drive. Um, we felt like we actually did connect with the spirit that was there. They wanted help and they didn't want to hey be Hey guys, um, our night is coming to a close. I did spend the last hour of this night not even filming in an attempt to see if I could get the spirit to communicate with me. Um, I'm fully under the understanding that the spirit here at 38 East Drive, Pontefract, wants help and it wants out. Here's an EVP that me and Alex have captured while just trying to talk and be friends with the spirit. And it actually came through really nice this time around. And this is an EVP that truly is class A and stunning, and I want you guys to check this out. It says, can you help me? You hear how clear that is? One more. Absolutely amazing stuff. Now... The sun is starting to rise. We have been here all night and we have seen some truly amazing things. I actually, even though the entity here seems to get a bad rap, I can tell that it's just angry because it has to deal with so many people here constantly and it just wants out. It wants to be set free. Before we leave, after I'm done filming, I'm going to say a prayer for the spirit in hopes of helping. The term poltergeist is used to describe a spirit, ghost, or entity that has the ability to move or manipulate objects in its environment. These keys, for anybody that's not been here, or anybody that has not has not witnessed it, these keys often swing on their they're own. On yeah. that hook, they stay on that hook, and they not they swing on their own when nobody's anywhere near. It was interesting too. I actually tested this uh, last night. When the keys are completely still, right? Walking around actually doesn't make them swing. Can you swing? Um, oh. yeah, okay, real quick, let's follow them and see what's going on. Okay. Because Mark picked up. Uh, Pick up something. I've just seen. I've just seen a figure, all in white, about Simon's height, walk. And then the radiation. Walk behind He's Simon. Swinging. Come into this area. How Come bad on, are they swinging? Quite a bit. Oh the my keys are swinging, god! And then the keys have just started swinging on their own. This thing's going mental. This gauss master. Look, that's the keys moving on their own. They just start doing, it, and they're getting faster too. Let me see if I get any readings off the keys or anything. They're literally going faster. Whoa! Whoa! Look at that spike tilt in the strength of the keys. Can I just say, Matt, just as you said that, I was about to say, whoa, I've just come over all funny. Can you keep... I just had like a wave of... Yeah. Can you hey, keep Karen. pushing those keys? They were still when we walked in there. Feeling up around it? Yeah, it feels hot. <clears throat> it feels warm. Yeah? At least I don't want to touch them to, yeah. you know, affect the motion of them, but... There's like heat coming from it. Again, let me just, um... 
Is that said anything? Whoa. I actually know the keys then, so. Look, Look at the readings there. Look, it's store. This thing's going mental. The store. Too. Like the whole store? It's a store. store. Oh, it could be. That we're getting, is. We're getting readings with the K2, getting readings with the Gauss Master off the keys. <coughs> that is some. Swinging by himself. Um, Appy Droid said that keys are made of iron, so have magnetic energy. Loud. They say loud. Yeah, it says loud. Yeah. Well, what we'll do, yes, it is loud. Well, what we'll do is. It's hard to see on there. When the energy seems to drop off in here, we'll give these another uh, another test using the same meter. Yeah. And if we still get high readings, then we could use that as a. Way now, these keys hold significance yeah. as Fagin gets most active when they're removed from the hook. These are the exact same keys that fell from the fireplace in front of Mrs. Pritchard when she was knelt in front of it. It's definitely more. For those who don't know, the spirit. Uh, a lot of people know him as Fred and the Poltergeist, but uh, we have come to learn through our own investigations his name is actually Fagin. Uh, does not like those keys to be removed. In fact, if you didn't know, this year the keys one morning, uh, Jean Richard I... in front of the kitchen fireplace, and the keys fell from the chimney above some of them hitting her on the head. Jean counted the keys and found there were 19 in total. Fred it seemed to have collected every key in the house. That's Fagin. Seemed to have collected every key in the house, and it was not until they were sorted that she found there was one large old key left. Uh, she, Jean obviously never identified the key, and still hasn't to this day. Um, but from stories... Which is that key, we assume, because that's the biggest old key. Mm. These are the others on the bunch. This is truly interesting. While we were outside, we actually caught the lights flickering on their own. Now, we have absolutely no explanation for this. Nobody at all was in the house at the time of this. We didn't even notice until after reviewing our footage. I'm gonna lay here on this bed and we're gonna call out and we're gonna see if we can get any kind of activity on us. It goes nothing. have the EMF bear here, and I want to point out, we have a crying girl painting hanging right above us. I'm sure you've all heard of the crying boy. Here's a crying girl. Hello, my friend. Are you able to perhaps show me what kind of strength you have? Sorry to bother you, but I would really appreciate it if you could come and make yourself known to us in here. We perhaps set off to there. Just come play with it. And maybe you could uh, push me off the bed. But a fucking it went, it, it just manifested by your head and it went whoop whoop and just disappeared into you. Maybe you could uh, push me off to bed. So we're standing in the bathroom of 30th East Drive in the pitch black. There's been a couple confirmed deaths in this bathroom. I have the spirit box. I'm going to see if we can communicate with anyone in here. Hi. What the fuck was that? It's a trap. It's a trap. Hello. Are you in here? If you're in here, oh, I'm so covered in shows. If you're in here, can you say the word bathroom or toilet? I mean, If you're in the Did I just say toilet? I might have. 
My friend, can you give us a sign of your presence? If I turn this off, could you make a noise? My friend, if you're in here, can you make a loud tapping noise or something? So, we just caught that tap, and then the battery just completely kaput, went dead. I just want to put down for your note anyways, we're on 87 minutes, so if this drains, then there's something seriously going on here. Yeah. My friend, we heard that tap right behind me. Can you do that again for me, just to confirm that that was you? on the spirit orb that we caught, uh, well that I caught when I was filming Andrew lying on the bed in the little girl's bedroom. Um, totally different than dust. Um, from filming a lot of different haunted locations, um, they're very old, some places haven't been cleaned properly, so you get the dust flurries. Um, dust is very different than um, a spirit manifestation because dust normally works with other p particles of dust it looks like a snow flurry you can tell um, spirit orbs have their own um, consciousness so they move in their own way um, they don't go in the same direction they can turn then go up and down um, it's really easy to spot an actual spirit orb rather than dust um, Catching the spirit manifestation that came from Andrew when he was laying on the bed was fascinating. Um, it had its own light. Um, it moved in its own way. It came out and then it just disappeared. Um, I believe that it was definitely a spirit that was residing at East Drive. Um, obviously, I don't know whether that was uh, Fagan, the uh, famed black monk but it was definitely a spirit. I'm gonna try a spirit box up here now. Okay. Fred, are you in the room? If you are, could you clearly more purpose say in the room? It's Andrew, what are those noises? Are you in the room? There what? was. What? It said oh, in the room. For God's sake. Don't panic, it's okay. It's you. He said in the room. Thank you, Fred. It's getting really hot around my legs. In this room. Oh, God, don't. Beautiful, thank you. Oh, I'm covered in chills. Yeah, me too. Andrew's on this bed. It just said Andrew's on this bed. Thank you. you I am on the bed. I give you permission to touch me if you can. Perhaps you could slam the door shut. I just heard something. What'd you hear? I heard an, a rustling noise in the corner to the right of me. My friend, I feel your energy. It's so intense. Who do you think you are? Can you please move something, my friend? Just give us a sign that you're here. You're not my friend. 
I want to be your friend. If you don't want me in here, can you pull me out? What? Go away. I will make a promise to you. I'll make a promise to you. If you can make something in this room move, right before our eyes, I will leave this room for you. Do you want us uh, out of this room? Do you want us off this bed? I know that you're quite angry. I definitely picked up on that. Oh my god! What? The orb! There was a fucking huge orb! Go back, go back and look at it. I know that you're quite angry. I definitely picked up on that. Oh my god! The old you ain't gonna miss this. It was huge and it came from the There's ball. There's a lot of people criticise this place. They think it's all fake. They think it's all a load of... Well, I just hope now, from watching what we've captured today and last night, that people do actually believe that there is something here. Alright, you might not be getting furniture thrown around do the house. Do you think and that thing and it's just one. due to the amount of... Yes. Investigations. Yes. That it's overdone. It, yeah, it's overdone. I'll be it, honest, it, it is. Yeah. It's overdone. The, the, the spirits are in there thinking, oh Christ, not again. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. This place is in no way overrated. This is truly a, one of England's most haunted and active locations from everything that I've seen. So thank you for tagging along, everyone. Until next time, do you believe yet? <laughs>